Hi, I'm Anna, guest blogger at Fit Perez and also author of the blog, Diary of a Former Food Addict. And today I want to talk to you about normal eating. Have you ever said, oh, it's just not fair, I can't eat like everyone else, or I have slow metabolism, or something like that? That's bad news. If you want to be healthy and you want to maintain a healthy weight, you can't eat whatever you want. That's the big mystery. And I think a lot of people think that that's normal, but it's actually not normal. Normal is actually considering what you put into your body. And that's what's also healthy. Because even if you happen to know somebody who can just eat whatever they want and they don't gain weight, that doesn't mean necessarily that their cholesterol, their blood pressure, their blood sugar, and countless other things are at you know healthy levels. But I also wanted to share with you what I think is one of the best descriptions of what normal eating is. It's by um, a brilliant nutritionist um, her name is Ellen Satter and anyway she says normal eating is going to the table hungry and eating until you are satisfied it is being able to choose food you like and eat it and truly get enough of it not just stop eating because you think you should normal eating is being able to give some thought to your food selection so you get nutritious food but not being so wary and restricted that you miss out on enjoyable food Normal eating is giving yourself permission to eat sometimes because you are happy, sad, or bored, or just because it feels good. Normal eating is mostly three meals a day, or four or five, or it can be choosing to munch along the way. It is leaving some cookies on the plate because you know you can have some again tomorrow, or it is eating more now because they taste so wonderful. Normal eating is overeating at times, feeling stuffed and uncomfortable, and it can be under eating at times and wishing you had more. Normal eating is trusting your body to make up for your mistakes in eating. Normal eating takes up some of your time and attention but keeps its place as only one important area of your life. In short, normal eating is flexible. It varies in response to your hunger, your schedule, your proximity to food, and your feelings. I think that's a really great definition because it's about having a relationship with food that's flexible and not just about denying yourself or pressuring yourself to be something you can't be. If you love certain foods, you should find a place in your life for them. And you should try to, to define what your normal is, what works for you, and what helps you achieve you know, the healthy body that you wanna have and be comfortable and live the rest of your life in. Good, I'm